Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft from the Hermitcraft server and boy oh boy do I have an apology to make to you. It's been such a long time since my last video. Let me tell you something guys, let me tell you. It's been, um, it's been one week, so, sorry, um, it's probably been more than a week. Uh, I got sick last, not this last Thursday, the Thursday before, and I didn't feel good for about three or four days. Then... My wife had a week off for vacation, so I'm like, okay, well, I'll choose to spend more time with her. She rarely gets, I mean, this is her first time off in a year, probably. Uh, then, <laughs> she got sick. So then I was like, oh, no, I should probably help out a little bit more around the house um, while she's home. Um, and, and so now, here we are. Here we are. But I have been doing a lot of work off camera. Let me show you guys. You guys saw those two cards, right? The um, speedrunner cards? I think so. Just in case... Here's a quick little summary recap. There they are, times two. There's the common one. And now I have four, count them, four new effect cards. Would you like to see them? Right here. We have a Splash Potion of Healing. This card, when played, will heal all hermits, including the hermits on the bench, a specific amount. I'm thinking maybe like 40 HP, something like that. That is going to be a very useful card. We have... The shield card, similar to the netherite armor card, except this one is permanent and this one is temporary. I'm thinking just one turn is probably enough. We've got the golden axe. This card bypasses the shield card and the netherite armor card, but it's only a one use card as well. So if somebody plays the shield card and you have one of these, you play one of these guys and the shield card gets used up and doesn't even have any effect. However, if somebody's got the netherite armor, you play the, the Golden Axe, you do the damage on the first turn, Golden Axe card is discarded, Netherite Armor stays on until the Hermit is knocked out. Then we've got the Spyglass card. Now I'm thinking this one, I have a couple of ideas for it. Either it lets you have a peek at the next card your opponent is about to pull, or um, you can peek at the prize cards. I don't know if I've mentioned, but there will be five prize cards every time you knock, it, you knock out a Hermit. You take a prize card from the from your your opponent, and you get to keep that card. Like it's a permanent card keep thing, and so you'll probably be able to look at them before because that's totally random. Neither the uh, opponent or yourself will look be able to look at the prize cards you put up. It'll be a completely random process. So um, this will be kind of handy in that you can go inside their dispenser or their chest or whatever and actually look. At the cards and then pick the one you want when you knock out an opponent i think that's going to be a very useful card but wait there's more i've also been working on my very first hermit card that's right the very first hermit card it's not quite finished yet because i need your participation to finish the card including some other things which we'll go over shortly but here is the very we're going to go in order again so the b-double-o card is the very first card boom the b-dubs card oh man now imagine an entire collection here you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna actually put it up near the next one it's kind of tough to get the um the the same look as these cards because the character cards are so much more detailed so it's a little bit of a bummer that it's not as detailed but it's pretty good i mean it looks pretty good to me uh let's go over here let's put that there that card is gonna look so good next to all the other cards let's try it out over here <laughs> i'm very excited to like put it next to the other cards come on Thank you very much. Let's go over here now. Right there. Boom. And. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's going to be so good. It's going to be such a fun game. I'm so excited. Anyway, as you can see, builder type. We have to decide the name of the moves and how much HP B00 is going to have. The move uh, power, I'm going to probably scale according to HP. So, And then, of course, it's going to have some, some moves with secondary effects. If you want to see, by the way the actual build of it, there it is, the B double O. Look at that. Such a small little piece on the map and such a massive project in in the real world. <laughs> the real world? Sure. And then, of course, I've taken down the uh, this card here, and there is the spyglass. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, it's happening again. And there is the spyglass, in case you were wondering what that looks like. So, yeah, we have made a lot of progress off camera. And um, I guess the next thing we have to do is decide how much HP B-dubs is going to have. I guess I could just... I want it to be completely random between 250 and 300. 
Thank you. Um, so, what I think I'm going to do is have five pieces of paper. Name them all different things. So, this will be 250. Okay. This will be 260. And so on and so forth. I meant six pieces of paper, not five, six. So it goes from 250 to all the way to 300. Let's let's just make sure 250, because this is a very important part of this game. 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300. We're going to hit the button and something's going to... Well, let's test it first to make sure it comes out different every time. So that's 270. That's 280. That's 300. It is coming out at random... Select. There's 300 again. Okay. All right. So we tested it. It works properly. B-dubs, this is going to be your HP. Are you ready for this? He says no with his wagging finger. By the way, I need to credit a couple people for the artwork. First of all, the Cat Murgatroyd has designed all of the renders for each card. And that is amazing. And I'm very thankful about that. And then the backgrounds, I commissioned an artist that Joe recommended to me. Space Dorito 49 on Twitter. Again, a big thanks to Joe for that. Joe Hills I'm talking about. Because there are many, many Joes. But only one Joe Hills. <laughs> all right. Are we ready to hit the button? Be up below. This is your life. Literally. 260, the second lowest. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Um, that's okay. 260 it is. I got to get to making the, the numbers up here now. I'm going to use redstone for that, I think. Redstone blocks. There we go. 260. Boom. Boom. Look at that beautiful 260. Um, I mean, not the best HP. Not the best, but hey, not the worst either. Definitely not the best and not even the middle. Anyway, that's the first card. Uh, like I mentioned before, all the Hermits are going to have two cards, one more rare than the other. This is the more common card. So B-Dubs will have a more rare card. The picture in the middle is not going to change. The item will change. The name of the moves will change. The values will change. So it's a lot of work to just make the second card. And I think I'm going to put a little star here on the second card just so that we see that it's a special, more rare card. And I'll do the um, the randomizer again for the second card. So the second card's not going to be 260. Hopefully something higher. Oh, hi, guys. You've come to see my progress. Anyway, um, Zed just called me over. Something about meeting him at his portal? Oh, I see a beef. That It's but me. I'm the beef. I see me. I, I, that, I know <laughs> I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm just letting you know. I'm in spectator mode right now, okay. flying around like a ghost. Okay. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> oh, the, the woo really did it. Now I, oh, yeah. I feel the ghost vibes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was about to say follow me, but you can't. Um, if you head up head up this way where it says towards XBs. Yep. And then take a, take a right. You will see Ooh. my portal up ahead. But be yep. careful, Beef. What? Be careful. Okay. This portal has been trapped. Oh, no. I'll tell you that right now for free. But I want you to just just tell me. I think you're a real perceptive guy. See if you can figure out where the trap is. Um. Well, I mean, <laughs> would it possibly be the the pressure plate? I mean, if you want to stand on it and try. Okay. Whoa! That's oh. not the trap. No! Don't do it! <laughs> I don't. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna go in here. Oh. oh. I don't have any. A, he's got a friend. I don't have a bow. I don't have a bow to, to kill this guy. Hold on, hold on. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Come on, get out of here. I am busy. Oh goodness. Uh, oh, I didn't even. Okay. It's what if I just? I'm just gonna hide in here. It's gonna be fine. They're gonna go away. Okay. Hopefully they'll just go on their merry way. Oh my um, gosh. Was that the trap? I wish it was. <laughs> that would have been pretty cool, right? All right, all right. I can just summon Gus whenever I like. Zed's Hall of Fame. Yes, yes, indeed it is. Um, oh no, I don't want him to destroy anything over here either. What? What? <laughs> terrible timing, Gasts. <laughs> Two of them as well. I know. I think we're good. I think we're good. All oh, right. No, he's, he's right there. He's right there. Oh, there's there's trip wires here too. Oh no! 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 Okay, good, good. <laughs> right, so the, the trip wire definitely didn't do it. Okay. Should I step on the pressure plate? If you would like to. Gulp. Ooh. That didn't do it either. There's a button here, though. And the button didn't do it. What the heck is going <laughs> You're on? You're very brave, baby. You're pressing things. You're doing stuff. You got some cold guys back here. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, that's my uh, that's my giant stack of mobs that I, <laughs> I had. Leave, they're not part of it. Leave them out of this. Um. Hmm. Uh, you know, I think you forgot to trap it. Interesting. Shall I, shall I tell you, Beef? I'll, I'll put you out of your misery and put you into some other misery. Okay. <laughs> okay, if you stay exactly where you are and you look very, very closely, at, see the, the purple pixels of the portal? Yes. They're all swirly around. If you, like, look at those really closely and zoom in, what do you see? Um, purple pick. Oh, my goodness! Oh, wow! What is... Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Hold on! How is that happening? <gasps> They're coming through the portal! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you got it! That's got amazing! It. Well Hold on a second! Interdimensional security. <laughs> is this the way? Th Wait, if I shoot an arrow, will it go? <laughs> I don't have any arrows to shoot. <laughs> I'll throw the arrow. I mean, yeah, you have quite a few in your body. I'm not gonna lie, but um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. you have no bow. Oh man, that is really cool. That's well. I mean, I guess it requires. What is happening on the other side? Is that just you shooting? That now it's me shooting. Before it was, a, it's a wall of dispensers. Oh wow. Oh, you got me there. I'm. 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 Okay. Trying to put yourself out. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to like put myself out using the portal. I want to see what's going on over here now. Ooh, it's it's uh -huh. very uh, unpretty. Uh huh. No, no. It's. I mean, it's it's a wall of death. Yeah, it's just my little like minigun thing. Well, that was great. Well, thank you, Beef. You, you're helping me test some stuff out. What I'm actually trying to achieve here uh, is is this trophy right here. Actually, the Ooh. interdimensional oh. trophy. I want to kill myself. I want to shoot myself in the face with an arrow through all three dimensions. Oh so, wow. I'm starting in the nether, and I'm shooting my bow, and that arrow will travel into the overworld, into the end, where I will be waiting, and it'll hit me in the face. That's... I cannot wait to see that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hope. I, I hope I can pull it off. But, oh, that'll um... be super cool. Oh, man. Can I watch? <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to watch the video like everyone else, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Will do. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I mean, I'm glad I could help you test uh, by uh, you almost murdering me. Yeah, no, no problem at all. If you could just pluck those arrows out of your and hand them straight back, that would be fantastic. There you go. Um, <laughs> I'll keep I'm the ones that are attached to me. Arrows. Okay, yeah, that's fine. You, you're very attached to them, so. <laughs> oh, wait, I think I have. Yeah, there's 16 more. There you go. Oh, look at that. Yeah, there's a lot coming through. When you've got nine dispensers spitting them out, they really uh, chug through the arrows pretty quickly. No kidding. Wow. Yeah. Huh, that was fun. Cool. All right. Cheers, B. Thanks for helping out. No if problem. If you want to um, just leave, you can. <laughs> I'm just leaving. <laughs> See you, B. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. They're shooting fireballs oh, no. at me. I'm getting out of here. I'm leaving. <laughs> what an exit. <laughs> you know, I almost feel like. I almost feel like by the time it comes to vote on Zed's Minecraft type, I don't even know, honestly, what type he is. <laughs> zany? Is there a zany type? <laughs> ah, Zed's the best. Always with these zany ideas. We'll have to think about that one. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and remove all these yellow rolls in preparation for some new cards. I mean, that's my life. I build cards, and then shortly afterwards, I take them down. And I always, I always double check if they're locked because I don't want to have a situation where um, I take down a card only to realize that I never locked it. That would be devastating to me. That would hurt me so much, more than you guys even think. Anyway, I'll see you guys when I take down this one and the one next to us right over there. By the way, these beacons, I'm going to need a beacon for the, the, the hermit cards as well because... Um, it's just going to get that annoying to take down these blocks. The beacons save so much time, though. So much time. Because I can just do this. Uh, let's go ahead and use Silk Touch because some of this stuff is probably Silk Touch related. Yeah, like this. I mean, doing this is a lot easier than going and doing it one by one the old way, even with an Efficiency 5 pick. So I'm so thankful for these beacons. Now all I need is one more. 
came back to the base to see if I had more redstone blocks because those numbers on the cards require the redstone blocks, like I mentioned before. And I thought I had enough, but I know I'm not going to have enough when I start making the values of the actual moves themselves. So yeah, I came back here to check out if I had more of those. And lo and behold, there is this. Don't be sheepish. Seriously, I will not allow you to give up. So the only, if you remember correctly, a while, it seems like a month ago. <laughs> um, there's also a lot of towers popping up at spawn. I'm a little out of the loop here, so I don't know what the heck is going. It's holding a cookie. That's adorable. I don't know exactly what's going on with all these um, towers popping up at spawn. But anyway, um, yeah, about, about a month ago, it seems like, I was looking for eggs. And the only one I couldn't find was this guy's shashwamis. So, uh, don't be, okay, obviously it's gotta be, it's gotta be either at the sheep farm, which I thought I looked, I, I looked pretty thoroughly at, oh, I think there's a zombie here. By the way, if you hear snoring and weird sounds in the background, uh, the do both dogs are currently in my office and they're both sleeping so peacefully that I, I don't want to disturb them. So yeah, I apolo apologi apologize, apologize for that, apologies for that. Um, where the heck is it hanging above? I, I could have sworn I checked really, really thoroughly and looked really, really thoroughly at these, um, sheep floors. Is it the floors? Oh my goodness. I see it now. Do you guys see it? It's not easy to spot. This is a very good hiding spot. I could have sworn I checked the floors on these uh, sheep pens thoroughly. But you know what? I bet I missed it because if uh, sometimes, yeah, like when the sheep is places himself in certain positions, sometimes I can't see anything. You sneaky little bugger. Okay, okay. So how the heck am I going to get it out of there? I think the best way is probably with a uh, an ender pearl, because if I go in underneath, the sheep might be able to escape. But I don't want to do that. Uh, let's see, food organic mob drops. Here we go. I only have thirteen ender pearls. Wow. Oh, also, where is the? Oh, I don't have any redstone at all. I've got to go caving for redstone. What am I? A uh, uh, redstone minecrafter? Please don't pick me as a redstone minecrafter. I am not a redstone minecrafter. I don't want to be a redstone minecrafter. You guys will ultimately decide what I am and am not. Look at this. You can't even see it here because it's the same color. Like his body's the same color as the ground and his head is the same color as this thing. Brilliant move. Now, how am I going to actually... Oh, no. This sheep is... Oh! Okay. Okay. Not good. Um. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm going right in there. Let me see if I can... Oh, no. This isn't going to work either. How am I supposed to get this out, X? Will the sheep escape through a one high... block? Like, if I took the glass off, I think the sheep will escape. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, hold on. Oh, I did it. Yes. 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 Okay, let me just go right there. And green wool. Right. Oh, I have no other. Here we go. Let me just do it. I've been meaning to also clean this area up because I don't want it to look like this. I want it to look a little bit cooler, a little more, a little bit more natural of an overhang. But I haven't done that yet. All right. So we we found X. Ah, X. You sneaky little guy. Wait a second. I remember now. It wouldn't be invaluables because boop. I got a redstone double chest. One. Oh, that's gonna be plenty. That is going to be plenty. Okay, okay, all right. This is good. Okay, all right. Another surprise thing. Octodrop token. Oh, what is the Oh, XB crafted. Okay, what's this? You are hereby challenged to master Octodrop. Located in the mini submarine at the giant octopus. Your three slow fall potions are and payment for your first attempt are included. Welcome to the Octodrop. The goal is slow fall through as many rings as you can can and land in the bullseye for triggering the fireworks red rings are worth tw two points all others are worth one point rules no elytra one diamond per run maximum of three runs per player 
must land in the bullseye. You will know if you land in it. Highest scoring run counts and should be added to this book. Take the bubble elevator to the top, then drink the potion. One potion per run. Wait a second. Wait, what? One potion per run? I thought it was three runs. Oh, three runs per player. I see. Take the bubble elevator down. One potion per run. After three weeks, the hermit with the best run will receive all diamonds paid to Octodrop, plus a bonus. And two, or, if two or more people score, get the same high score. Scar has requested Top Gun style combat. <laughs> the game opens on April 16th and will end on May the 17th. Or 7th. I'm in time. I'm doing it now. Okay, here we go. Now, wait a second. I have to take the potions up here. There's no risk of me dying, right? I really hope not, because I don't want to. Here, I'm going to take this. I got 38 levels on me. Who wants to die with 38 levels? So, each ring is worth... Okay, I'm going to see... Oh, man. Wait, there's some black rings... Let me read this again real quick, just to make sure. So the red rings are worth two points, and all of the rings are worth one point. Hello. Um, that's a lot of rings. So there's only there's a red ring there, a red ring there, and a red ring there. There might even be more. Oh, there's one down there. All right. Let's see if we can get. <sighs> this is gonna be. I am a little bit worried. You're not. We're not gonna die, right? One. Two. Three, missed it. Uh-oh, this is trouble. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I missed another red. Four. <laughs> uh, five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh, wait, does, that, does that count if I hit the thing? Nine. And... I think I did it. I think I like okay, so that was nine. I'm gonna try it again. Attempt number two, boogaloo. One. Two. I'm gonna go with this one now. Three. Four. Because I got two points for it, right? Uh, five. I don't know if that counts. Six, seven. I'm gonna go with this one. Eight, nine. Ten. 11. Does this count, guys? Does this count? I don't know. We're going to do one. <laughs> We're going to do one more run and I don't think it said anything in the book. We're going to do one more run and then um and then hopefully get an even better score. Okay, run number 3. I read the book again. It didn't say anything about it not counting. So, uh I'm going to count those. That's 2 3. I'm going to go through the middle this time. 4 5 Six, seven, I'm going to, ah, I think I messed up. Eight, nine, I think 11 is going to be my max. 10, 11, I think that's it, right? Oh, wait, did I count? Oh, and I didn't even land in the middle. So my previous, po my previous run was the best run. Okay, okay, that's not bad. Got to go put our names in the book. Oh, these little snorry puppies in my, in my office are really snoring. Uh, oh, Wimples had 13. Hypno had 14. Cub had 10. All right. Well, huh? beef 11. I might come back and try it again. I got to be honest. I, 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 was, I was not impressed by my performance. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, I think we're good. I'll give him the empty bottles in case he needs it uh, or needs them. And I'll keep the shelter box because that's awesome. <laughs> I'll keep the shelter box because it's awesome. How do I get out of here? This is, I guess, one quick way is to do this. Forgot I didn't have my elytra on. Just checking my wool sales and somebody overpaid. Now, I think this is the second time someone's overpaid. And I believe it was Tango, possibly Impulse. Tango or Impulse overpaid the last time. I can't remember who, because you guys told me and I just completely forgot who it was. And I definitely appreciate the overpayment. I mean, not going to say no to that. We're looking good in, in terms of diamonds, by the way, guys. Looking very, very good. Ooh, I've decided that I'm going to also randomly pick the values of the moves. Because I feel like it'd be wrong for me to just pick random values uh, assign and, and assign them to people. Especially if I'm assigning low values to your favorite hermits. So I kind of want to randomly assign everything. The, the problem with that is there is a risk that... Um, 
look at all those diamonds, guys. There is a risk that one hermit or a couple hermits will be far more powerful than um, than most of them. But who knows? It might not work out that way. So let's go back there. I'm going to randomly assign values to moves, and then we're going to make the move values, okay, like the numbers. We're going to actually put them on the map, and then you guys get to decide what the moves should be called. I will need a total of three, four moves, four moves per hermit. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to get all of them from you guys, but definitely like the special moves, quote unquote. The special move on each card will be the move on the bottom half of the move table. <laughs> you know how it has two moves. The one on the bottom will be the more powerful move. I shouldn't, I shouldn't say special move. The more powerful move. So, yeah, I'm going to need four names. Start putting them in right now for B double O. I know sleep's got to be one. Should I spell it sleep? Huh? Does he say it weird? <laughs> I think he says it weird. So maybe I should spell it differently. I don't know. But what else would you associate B double O with? And then I'll have to look at the most voted names or, or the most voted move names because I don't have time to, to watch every single Hermit's videos. So I won't even know if it's accurate or not. So yeah, if you see somebody who has uh, who has come up with a good move name, definitely upvote their comment because that's, for the most part, what I'll base my judgments on. Okay, we are ready to decide. I've already made the zeros because it's going to end in zero regardless. Now, I know I could probably just make this like a 26 instead of a 260, but 260 seems so much cooler. Anyway, here we go. I've already taken the... Um, the HP values out. Now I have two sets of values, one for the top and one for the bottom. So we're going to do the one for the top right now. It goes from 30, 40, 50, 60. So 30 to 60. We're going to randomize it right now. What will the top value be? His The move that will cost the least amount of item cards to execute. A 60. Very nice. That is the high end. That makes me happy because his overall HP is actually pretty low. So let's keep the 60 here. Next, we're going to take these out. Okay. We're going to put these in 70, 80, 90, and 100 for the second move. So we're going to put the 30, the 40, the 50. Actually, I should put them here. Um, next, yeah, 70, 80, 90, or 100 for the second. Ooh, zoom sensitivity? No, thanks. For the second move there. Um... If it goes, if it's a 60 and 100, that is a very high, a very good offensive card. Not very good defensively. It's an 80. Still really, really good. Okay, so I got to make a 6 and an 8 <laughs> out of redstone blocks. Not a problem. I can do that. Let's get these guys and put them down in here. I'm going to keep these on me just to make sure I don't forget um, wh what, what it is. 70. The numbers are finished, 60 and 80. Now, one other thing I need to reveal to you. I know this is why I didn't reveal. Remember that time I said, at the, like, I think it was like episode three. When I revealed my project, I said I would be revealing things as I go because it gets complicated. So this is this is the reason why. Because yet another thing I have to reveal to you. There is going to be two two forms, two, two different versions of each card for um, the Hermits. And you guys already know that. So the second version is going to have completely new HP, completely new move names and completely new move values also probably most likely uh different um item uh uh requirements per move okay but the second card is going to be the rare card it's going to have a little star right here okay and the bottom move on all the rare cards will have secondary effects so for instance if we put sleep down here for b dubs second card it will have a value here or no value here, depending on what we want to do with it. For Sleep, I was thinking it's going to be like the Snorlax Sleep. So um, he can heal all his HP, but then he can't make any offensive moves for three turns. He could still play cards, could still play cards, uh, especially if you have good ones, right? If you have good cards, I mean, that is that is, that is a good strategy, but uh, you have to build the deck properly and use the cards and get lucky with the cards you draw during the match. So... Um, the secondary move on all the rare, her all the Hermit's rare cards will have secondary effects. So keep that in mind. So I'm pretty sure Sleep, Sleep is going to be one of them, right? Should we make B-dubs the Snorlax card? <laughs> his second move puts him to sleep, but heals all his HP. I think that'd be kind of cool. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's 
episode. In the last episode, which was uh, four years ago, you guys voted Corrales as a builder. So here is Corrales' builder card revealed. Very cool. Again, shout out to my artists, Space Dorito and the Cat Murgatroyd. Cat Murgatroyd uh, made the, the, the renders for me and Space Dorito made those, made those sweet pixelated backgrounds for me. Love those. Okay, so the next hermit you have to vote for is Mumbo Jumbo. Good old Mumbo. And he's back, by the way. Welcome back, Mumbo. We've all missed you. Hope you had a good time off. Um, gee, I wonder what uh, type Mumbo is going to be voted as. Just I wonder what... I wonder... I wonder what... I wonder what type Mumbo is going to be... <laughs> anyway, uh, don't forget to go over there. Vote for Mumbles. Mum Mumbo? Mumbo? Mumble, wait a minute. Mumble used to be a voice chat back in the day. I haven't heard that name in a while. Vote for Mumble's type and um, definitely vote for his secondary type as well. Huh? But but be honest with yourselves. He's definitely a redstoner. But then what else is he? He's been, he's been building some great stuff lately. So maybe he's a builder. Maybe he's balanced. Ooh, where's the balanced? There it is. Maybe he's balanced. Who knows? Is he probably not a prankster? I mean, he's had his fair share between him, between him and Green. PvP? Probably not. Definitely not a speedrunner, but there are other options in there, probably. I'll, I'll add a couple new options. I still have a couple of uh, item cards I think will eventually be made, so maybe I'll add a couple of those in there, and you guys can maybe... <laughs> Who knows? Who knows how the vote will go, honestly. A and once again, vote on... Not vote, but put in the suggestions what moves B00 should have. Sleep is definitely going to be one. 100%. And I think... I'm going to make it heal all of, his, all of his HP, but then have him immobile for like three turns or something like that. So, yeah. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I must have turned clouds off because I just realized now I see no clouds. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.